I'm Joe Gatto. I'm Steve Byrne. We are two cool moms. We certainly are. And guess where we could find us now? Oh, I don't know. The iHeart Podcast Network? That's right. We're an official iHeart Podcast, and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> I am, too. I thought Two Cool Moms was such a fun podcast, but now it's even more funner and cooler and heartier. That's right. It's more iHeartier. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Check your heart rate. We're here at iHeart. Yeah, you can find us wherever you listen to your podcast or on the iHeart Radio app. Hey, I'm Gianna Prudenti. And I'm Jamaica Jackson Gadsden. We're the hosts of Let's Talk Offline from LinkedIn News and iHeart Podcasts. There's a lot to figure out when you're just starting your career. That's where we come in. Think of us as your work besties you can turn to for advice. And if we don't know the answer, we bring in people who do, like negotiation expert Maury Tahiri Poor. If you start thinking about negotiations as just a conversation, then I think it sort of eases us a little bit. Listen to Let's Talk Offline on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything, that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about navigating these moments. Their stories are full of candor and hard-won wisdom. And you'll hear from scientists who teach us how we can be more resilient in the face of change. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey everyone, it's Jay Shetty, and I am so excited to let you know that my latest podcast interview is with the one and only Tom Hanks. I have left many wonderful atmosphere or a loving atmosphere without thinking, oh, things were really wonderful back then. I wish I was back there. Jay, I don't think I've ever thought that. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Hey fam, I'm Simone Boyce. I'm Danielle Robay. And we're the hosts of The Bright Side, the podcast from Hello Sunshine that's guaranteed to light up your day. Check out our recent episode with Grammy Award-winning rapper Eve on motherhood and the music industry. No, it's a great, amazing, beautiful thing. There's moms in all industries, very high-stress industries that have kids all across this world. Why can't it be music as well? Listen to The Bright Side from Hello Sunshine on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. That's for you, Jay. It could be your letter. You never know, right? Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the strawberry letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, why won't he leave his wife? Why won't his wife leave him? What was I thinking? <laughs> Same thing, though, right? Pick Here's Stephen now. Shirley. I'm 44 years old. Divorced Reading is and fundamental. Single. I know it is, huh? <laughs> I think I'm still in vacation mode. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm 44 years old, divorced and single for 10 years. My husband divorced me because I cheated on him, and the man I cheated with was married, and he's still married. We met at work, and the rest is history. We are still in a relationship, and it's been 10 years now. Our sex life is great, but our relationship has a few challenges. We have a six-year-old son, and he has two children with his wife. His wife has known about us from the beginning due to my husband sending her explicit text messages, hotel receipts, and pictures of us together. She knew about my pregnancy and is aware that her husband spent times with our son, but she will not leave him. He said he's staying because of the kids and she will drag him through the mud if he leaves. I really, truly love this man. He met my parents, my siblings, and all of my friends. Everyone knows he's married, but no one makes a big deal out of it. I had to threaten him with child support to make him step up financially to provide for me and my son. He has put our son on his insurance at work as his third child. Nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me. So I really feel that he loves me. I do want more and have expressed that to him, but he says he has too many obligations at home. I feel like I have a boyfriend and everything is fine until reality sets in and he leaves me to go to his wife and other life. 
I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. He and I will be connected forever because of our son, but I want him all to myself. I'm getting too old for the back and forth, and he is too. Do I give him an ultimatum, or would that be selfish of me? Hmm, would that be selfish of you? What? I, I think everything <laughs> that you're doing is selfish. Uh, because all you're thinking about is getting this woman's husband for yourself. You were selfish when you cheated on your husband in the first place. And I, I don't see how you don't see any of this as selfish because it's all selfishness. I mean, now you want him to leave and be with you. That's selfish. Okay. Uh, and he obviously doesn't want to leave his wife. He's, he obviously doesn't. He's giving you every excuse not to. And more importantly, he doesn't have to at this point. He gets anything he wants from you with the arrangement you already have. And everyone is going along with it. You said he's met your family, he's met your friends, and they're cool. Uh, no big deal. His wife has known about your affairs since the beginning. She's still his wife. And no matter what you do to him, you say he won't leave you. You two started this, you made a child, and now you have a problem with it the way it is now? Um, well, you know, too bad because this is a mess and this is what messes look like. I mean, trust me, wifey isn't going anywhere. It's called revenge, okay? It's called a woman scorned, it's called spite. You think she doesn't know you want her to leave? She probably can't stand her cheating husband, you know? <laughs> Didn't you say he sent her explicit pictures, hotel receipts of you guys together? But she's still not leaving him? That should tell you something right there. Uh, so this is what it is and what it's going to be. Okay, you need to stop wishing, stop waiting, stop hoping for him to leave her. It, it's not happening. She's not going to leave him either. The wokest moment you had in this whole entire letter was at the end when you said you're getting too old for this back and forth, and so is he. And, and you're right. You're 44. I say, girl, get your child support like you're doing. Please don't waste any more time on him, though. You need to get your self-respect back. You need to close this chapter of your life. You need to walk away way. Stop answering his calls. This is not love. It's not even close. Of course, he needs to pay for, continue to pay for the child and take care of his kid. But other than that, you need to move on with your life. Steve? To me, this whole letter ain't got nothing to do with the dude. Mm -hmm. The whole thing to me is the woman who wrote the letter and what mm -hmm. she's settling for exactly. and what she's accepted. And what she she keeps trying to make a wrong a right, and it it can't work that. this way, woman. What is wrong with you? Your your moral compass is so far off. You keep trying to get something out of this that don't belong to you. You have nothing here. You forty four year old divorced and single for ten years. Your husband divorced me. My husband divorced me because I cheated on him. And the man I cheated with was married, and he's still married. Oh, okay. And you're still cheating. D do you understand? You've never corrected any of your mistakes, but you want stuff to right itself for you. But you've taken no ownership. Look, everybody make mistakes, so I ain't going to beat you up about the mistakes. But damn. You're supposed to grow from your mistakes, learn from them, ask for forgiveness, and move on. You've done none of that. You just keep repeating the same thing over and over, expecting a different results. Don't they say that's the definition of insanity? Yes, Absolutely, Steve. Ain't that what they say? So mm -hmm. when we come back, we'll finish talking to your crazy ass. <laughs> All right, we'll have part two of Steve's response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Subject, why won't his wife leave him? We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter. Subject, why won't his wife leave him? Why, why won't his wife leave him? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 44 years old, divorced, single for 10 years. Your husband divorced me because, my husband divorced me because I cheated on him. And the man that I cheated on him was married, and he's still married. We met at work, and the rest is history. 
We are still in a relationship, so you're still cheating. Mm -hmm. And it's been 10 years now. Our sex life is great, but our relationship has a few challenges. Oh, you mean the fact that he's married? That's the <laughs> challenge? Okay. We have a six-year-old son, and he has two children with his wife. Oh, you mean his family? Oh, okay. His wife has known about us from the beginning due to my, due to my husband sending her explicit text messages, hotels receipts, and receipts of us together. Your husband, see, I didn't catch that at first. I didn't know Your either. former I husband sent all this information to your wife when he found out you was cheating on him mm -hmm. with her husband. He sent her all the messages, the receipts, and all, the, all this stuff. She knew about my pregnancy and is aware that her husband spends time with our son. But she's not, but she will not leave him. Now, Shirley said it best, and I hadn't thought of this. This is revenge. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in this mess. I'm going to make you wallow in it with me. So I didn't even know that, but women are capable of it. I'm leaving. I'm bouncing. I'm <laughs> we, we, we're going to do revenge somewhere else. We're not finna sit up in here, but Shirley made a valid point. He said he's staying because of the kids, and she will drag him through the mud if he leaves. Wait a minute. Let me explain something to you. He already in the mud. Hmm. It can't get any muddier. Now, she'll tell his job and all this here, but that I, she going to drag him through the mud. She giving this bad hell. I want you to understand this. Oh, yeah. I really, truly love this man. He's met my parents, my siblings, all my friends. Everyone knows he's married, but no one makes a big, big deal out of it. You know why they don't make a big deal out of it? Because you don't. You don't. <laughs> See, you cool with stupid, and they cool with you. So if you cool and stuck on stupid, then we cool being stuck on stupid for you. Whatever. <laughs> that ain't what you, you like. Like Everybody, they don't make no big deal out of it. Lady. I had to threaten him with child support to make him step up financially, provide for me and my son. He has put our son on his insurance at work as his third child. Nothing, now here's the part, nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me, so I really feel he loves me. Uh -huh. So I know what you did, I'll tell you that in a second. Now, he does love you. You can be in love with two people, but he ain't leaving his wife, though. I do want more. And I have expressed that to him. So, and what do he do about it? Not so. <laughs> I, I do want more and have expressed that to him. Again, so? <laughs> you through expressing? Yeah. I'm finna go home. Mm. But he says he has too many obligations at home. And yeah. <laughs> A wife and two children. I feel like I have a boyfriend and everything is fine until the reality sets in and he leaves me to go to his wife and his other life. I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. Let's go back to this, to this line right here. Nothing I ever do to this man has made him angry enough to cut ties with me, so I really feel like he loves me. I'm sure his wife knows where I live, but I don't understand why she's never acted out over what I've done. Because you've tried to ruin them. And now she ain't going to let you. Again, going back to what Shirley said, this is revenge. Oh, so you going to ruin me? You ain't finna have him. I just hold on to this raggedy mess before I give you anything. So now you can't win. He and I will be connected forever because of our son, but I want him all to myself. Wait a minute. He has a wife and a family, and you cheated on your family with this man and you're still cheating with the man this man and his family and you want him all to yourself how do you keep thinking something right is finna come out of all this wrong you've been doing for all these years i'm getting too old for this back and forth and he is too he ain't too old for this <laughs> do i give him an ultimatum or would that be selfish of me hold on let me ask you something what ultimatum you talking about? What you finna threaten him with? I'm you. Oh, 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 let me see. What, what you gonna do? Oh, you gonna tell his wife about y'all? Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you gonna call down on the job and tell him he got a baby out of wear like? You talking about the, the baby that he put on his insurance? 
what, 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 what ultimatum threat do you have? You ain't got nothing. You, what if she huh? says that? What if she says I'm gonna leave you? <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. She's not. She's really not. <laughs> she done set herself up to stay. Yeah. She going where? With who? Man, this man knows she ain't going nowhere. You have no ultimatum. The best thing you and let me tell you something else, lady. You will never have a man of your own. Mm-hmm. Ever not doing this. You have doomed yourself to a lonely life, sister, unless you change your ways. Yep. You got to just realize it's a mistake and ask for forgiveness and get up and try again. That's the only thing I got for you. Leave him alone. All right. Thank you, Steve. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. They're coming up at 46 minutes after Junior and Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. I'm Joe Gatto. I'm Steve Byrne. We are two cool moms. We certainly are. And guess where we could find us now? Oh, I don't know. The iHeart Podcast Network? That's right. We're an official iHeart Podcast, and I'm super excited about it. (laughs) I am, too. I thought Two Cool Moms was such a fun podcast, but now it's even more funner and cooler and heartier. That's right. It's more iHeartier. I knew it. <laughs> Check your heart rate. We're here at iHeart. Yeah, you can find us wherever you listen to your podcast or on the iHeart Radio app. Hey there. I'm Dr. Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything, that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about navigating these moments. Their stories are full of candor and hard-won wisdom. And you'll hear from scientists who teach us how we can be more resilient in the face of change. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Gianna Prudenti. And I'm Jamae Jackson Gadsden. We're the hosts of Let's Talk Offline from LinkedIn News and iHeart Podcasts. There's a lot to figure out when you're just starting your career. That's where we come in. Think of us as your work besties you can turn to for advice. And if we don't know the answer, we bring in people who do, like negotiation expert Maury Tahiri Poor. If you start thinking about negotiations as just a conversation, then I think it sort of eases us a little bit. Listen to Let's Talk Offline on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, everyone, it's Jay Shetty, and I am so excited to let you know that my latest podcast interview is with the one and only Tom Hanks. I have left many wonderful atmosphere or a loving atmosphere without thinking, oh, things were really wonderful back then. I wish I was back there. Jay, I don't think I've ever thought that. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Hey, fam, I'm Simone Boyce. I'm Danielle Robay. And we're the hosts of The Bright Side, the podcast from Hello Sunshine that's guaranteed to light up your day. Check out our recent episode with Grammy Award-winning rapper Eve on motherhood and the music industry. No, it's a great, amazing, beautiful thing. There's moms in all industries, very high-stress industries that have kids all across this world. Why can't it be music as well? Listen to The Bright Side from Hello Sunshine on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.